Hi, this is Halal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will try to solve a problem that was asked in Indian Economic Service of 2018 paper, supposedly. The question is like this. Uh, consider a utility function. We are being given a utility function that is u is equal to x to the power alpha, y to the power beta, where alpha and beta are greater than zero, subject to the budget constant. We have to maximize this very utility function and our budget constraint is that is our uh, total budget is m which is equal to price of x times the quantity of x plus price of y uh, times the quantity of y. The question says us uh, derive the demand function for x and y. We have to find the uh, demand functions for good x and y also. Uh, show that these demand functions are homogeneous of degree 0 in price and income. So we have to also prove their homogeneity of uh, degree 0. Okay. So let us uh, write this. We are given a utility function that is u is equal to x to the power alpha y to the power beta. This is our utility function which is to be maximized. So I can write here maximize utility function. Okay. Subject to the budget constraint. Our budget constraint is that uh, P of x times x plus P y times y is equal to m. Okay. These are the two equations which are given us. Okay. So how do we uh, maximize a utility function? There are two methods of solving this very uh, utility function. Either we use a Lagrange's method or we just use the tangency condition. So in this case, we will use the tangency condition uh, to save our time. So for uh, optimal or rather for maximizing utility what we call the first order condition requires that our marginal rate of substitution marginal rate of substitution should be equal to price of x our price of y that is marginal rate of substitution between these two goods should be equal to the ratio of price ratio of their prices okay and what is our marginal rate of substitution it is given by marginal utility of x our marginal utility of y should be equal to price of x our price of y this condition should be satisfied uh, so that we get the optimal bundles here okay so what does this graphically mean it simply means if we have this cobb dollars production function like this and we have the budget constraint sorry yeah uh, we have this very budget constraint is this cobb dollars utility function tangency condition requires that our highest attainable indifference curve should be tangent to our budget line that means this point would be the optimal bundle here okay so we have this uh, requires that the slope of the budget line and the slope of the indifference curve at a point of tangency should be equal to 1 and this simply means price of x our price of y and this means marginal utility of x our marginal utility of y so these conditions are being satisfied at the tangency between the indifference curve and our budget constraint okay let me rub this So, we have to find the marginal utility of x. Now, what is the marginal utility of x? Marginal utility of x is simply differentiating our utility function with respect to x. This is our utility function. If we partially differentiate it with respect to x, uh, this alpha will become coefficient. That is alpha x to the power alpha minus 1 and we have y to the power beta. Or we can write it like this, alpha x to the power alpha y to the power beta divided by x we break this in, into uh, x to the power alpha and x to the power minus 1 and x to the power minus 1 we know it is equal to 1 to the power x to the power 1 okay so this is our marginal utility of x Similarly, what would be our marginal utility of y? We will just differentiate this utility function with respect to y now. Marginal utility of y means differentiating uh, the given utility function with respect to y. Why this time? Okay. 
so if we differentiate with respect to y this beta will become coefficient here so this is beta x to the power alpha y to the power beta minus 1 and exponent is subtracted by 1 by the power function rule okay and we can rearrange this that is beta x to the power alpha y to the power beta divided by y because y to the power minus 1 will become 1 divided by y to the power plus 1 okay this is our marginal utility of y now using this very condition okay we use this very condition so our marginal utility of x so far uh, maximizing our utility our this condition should be satisfied so we will just uh, insert these values here that means marginal utility of x is given by this very equation that is alpha x to the power alpha times y divided by x divided by marginal utility of y is given by beta x to the power alpha y to the power sorry uh, beta x to the power alpha y to the power beta divided by y and it should be equal to our price ratio price of x our price of y okay i hope i am making uh, sense here now here we can see this x to the power alpha x to the power alpha will get cancelled here it is beta sorry so this will get cancelled with this we are left with alpha divided by x and here we have beta divided by one it, uh, beta divided by y it will get reciprocated it will become y divided by beta we should be equal to price of x our price of y okay now uh, solving for y if we solve for y that that means y is equal to we have price of x our price of y this term when transposing it will get reciprocated so we have first i will write price of x our price of y this gets reciprocated this becomes x divided by alpha and this beta will get multiplied okay so this is the value of y here now what will we do we will just insert the value of y is equal to this very term into our budget constraint okay we will put this y is equal to this in our budget constraint that means we have price of x times x plus price of y times the value of y is this very thing so in place of this i will write price of x our price of y into x divided by alpha times beta should be equal to m here okay now price of y price of y py py gets cancelled we are left with px times x plus px times x times beta okay uh, divided by alpha i hope is equal to m here okay so we have here we will just uh, take px into x px into x is common so we are left with px into x when taking common we are left with one plus beta divided by alpha should be equal to m or rearranging this is px into x now this is alpha into beta alpha sorry alpha plus beta divided by alpha should be equal to m or x is equal to this x is equal to m we will transpose this very thing on our this will get reciprocated this is alpha divided by alpha plus beta and also transposing this px this will become one divided by px here okay or we have m times alpha now alpha plus beta that is uh, sum of the exponents in the cobb douglas utility function is equal to one we can also prove this but uh, this is not uh, the time here so we will uh, assume this alpha plus beta is equal to one okay so in place of alpha plus beta i will write one and we have px that means our x is equal to m alpha divided by px okay this is the demand function for x similarly 
demand function for y would be simply we will just put this thing in our budget constraint again so in place of i will write this px we have px into x the value of x is m times alpha so i will write m times alpha divided by beta plus price of y times y should be equal to m okay now and we have obviously this I hope I make here I uh, I make some mistake here. Let me rub this. Let me rub this out. We have price of x times the value of in place of uh, x we have this m divided m alpha divided by p x. Okay, plus price of y. That is p y and y should be equal to m. Okay. Now this p x p x gets cancelled. We are left with m alpha plus p y y is equal to m, or p y into y is equal to transposing this term on R H S. This is m minus m alpha or p y into y is equal to taking m. Common, we are left with one minus alpha, or y is equal to y is equal to m one minus alpha divided by p y. Okay, this is the demand function for y. And as I have told, we have assumed that our alpha plus beta is equal to one. That means here beta is equal to one minus alpha. So in place of one minus alpha. I will write beta. So y is equal to m beta divided by p y. Okay. This is the demand function for good y. Now coming to the next part. Uh, show that these demand functions are homogeneous of degree zero in price and income. Now, by homogeneous of degree zero, what we mean? We simply mean if we double our Inputs uh, in case of Cobb-Douglas production function, our quantity produced will remain same. Okay, that means if we double double here, if we double inputs, inputs Q remains same. Okay, then we say it is homogeneous of degree zero. Okay. Now, in this case, what does um, this mean? It simply means if we double the income and the price, okay, our quantity demanded will remain same. So we can prove it easily. Let us take this very demand function. Let us say this is y day. So this is our y. Now, if if m and p y are Changes, changes by a factor, factor k, let us say, okay, then what would be our new demand function, let us say y star would be equal to, that means we have increased m and p y by same proportion, that is k, that means new demand function would be k times m divided by k times p y times beta, or we can write y star is equal to now k uh, k divided by k it can be written as k 1 minus 1 because if we transpose this k on numerator the exponent the sign will get changed so this will become 1 uh, minus 1 and we have m divided by p y beta now y star is equal to now k to the power 1 minus 1 is k to the power 0 m divided by p y times beta which is simply which is equal to uh, I can write it like this k to the power 0 times x or I will write here first so our y star is equal to k to the power 0 m divided by p by uh, times beta or y star is equal to k to the power 0 times y 
here we can see our in place of this I have written y this is our y which we got here so if we increase income and price by same proportion quantity demanded for y will remain same because k to the power 0, 0 would be equal to 1 so y star is equal to 1 into y that means y star is equal to y here it simply means if we have increased let us say if we double the income and the price then quantity uh, demanded will remain same okay let me give you uh, an example here let us say our y was in place of y we have 50 okay let us say it is in utilis let us say our m was 100 px was sorry py was 50 okay then so we will not take this into account y so i will write here so our y would be equal to m is 100 divided by 50 into beta okay now if we double if m is doubled it becomes 200 and py becomes 50 and it becomes 100 so we have doubled both income and price then what would be our y y would be equal to 200 divided by 100 times beta okay so we will get same result what we got in this very function because we have changed the numerator and the denominator by same proportion so that uh, so the demand function will remain same here we, we are left with uh, 100 divided by 50 twice beta here we also get 100 twice beta okay it is simply if uh, we are given numerator and denominator in numerator we have income in denominator we have price of x and it is obvious isn't it obvious here if numerator and denominator are increased by the same proportion then uh, this very thing will remain same because uh, we have uh, income on numerator and price of y on denominator so to cut it short by homogeneous of degree zero simply means if we double the income and the price our quantity demanded will remain same also we can say if we half if we decrease uh, income and price let us say by 50 percent both our demand for y will remain same this is the simple uh, meaning of the homogeneous of degree uh, homogeneous of degree zero by homogeneous of degree one simply means if we uh, double the x and y if we double the income and prices if our quantity demand also gets doubled then we will say that our uh, uh, given demand function is homogeneous of degree uh, 1 but this is not the case since they are in numerator and de denominator any increase in both numerator and denominator by same uh, proportion uh, will lead to the same quantity demanded I hope I make myself uh, clear so I will just give another example to make it more to make it more clear to you not getting the output out so let me make it so homogeneous homogeneous of the zero minus let us say if income and price are double q quantity demand remains same we have homogeneous of degree 0 which we have calculated somewhere I have calculated it with this moment k to the power 0 so this will remain same by homogeneous of degree 1 degree 1 if income and prices are doubled and if our quantity also gets doubled we say it is homogeneous of degree 1 